Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. A gentle splash off the coast of Mexico brings NASA one step closer to flying astronauts back to the moon and beyond. It is the beginning of the new beginning and that is to explore the heavens. NASA's Orion spacecraft, which had no astronauts on board, is safely home after a 25-day voyage around the moon and back. The flag is a beautiful picture. Its homecoming comes 50 years to the day of the Apollo 17 landing, the last time humans walked on the moon. This time we go back to the moon to learn to live, to work, to invent, to create, in order to go on out into the cosmos to further explore. The plan is to get ready to go with humans to Mars late in the decade of the 2030s. This is the moment of truth for Orion. In its last major test, the spacecraft's heat shields withstood temperatures more than 2,700 degrees Celsius as Orion's capsule slammed into Earth's atmosphere at nearly 40,000 kilometers per hour. Live video from outside the capsule's window showed stunning images of Earth getting larger and larger. Once recovered from the water, Orion will head back to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida for inspection. This was a challenging mission, and this uh, is, is what mission success looks like. There are more complex and, and more challenging missions ahead, but we've got a foundational capability here. This, just one of the incredible images of the lunar surface taken by Orion during its journey with Earth in the background, lit like a crescent by the sun. Now that the Artemis 1 test flight is over, NASA will assess the data to prepare for Artemis 2 when a crew is on board for another trip around the moon. That could happen as early as 2024. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.